I do appreciate your understanding in this matter, and I apologize for wasting any more of your time. This isn't going away. You have to report to the INS office in Port Charles within three days. And I will. I don't believe Tracy, this. This is Spencer's fault. He was chasing Don't you us. blame it on I'm my husband. My that Where is my mother? What did you do with her? I don't remember. What do, you, what do you mean you don't remember? Where is she? Uh, Scott says he was involved in a car accident. Where is my mother? His car went over a cliff. Was my mom in the car? No, no, the only thing we know is that Luke and Laura are both missing. Well, Scott, were they in the car? <sighs> Laura was in the car. We were driving, went in some kind of a skid. That's all I remember. And then I woke up and uh, my car was gone. Laura was gone. Luke's cab that he was chasing us in was, it was about 20 feet away. That's it. So, so what? We can assume that our mother went over a cliff in your car and now she's with Luke? Really okay, we need to go back over your story again. Laura and I were driving back to the hotel. Where were you going? We had been sightseeing, and then your father showed up. He stole a cab, he and he not started just stealing a stole cab. The cab. He, he did not steal the a cab. Car. Why did you drive away? Why didn't you at least pull over and let her out? Because your, your father was was out of control. He was probably drunk as usual. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Which, which one of you drove off the cliff? I remembered that I had hit the guardrail. That's. I it. thought you didn't remember anything. Obviously, his story is not true. You should arrest him. Excuse us for a moment. Come here. You, what? You need to calm down and stop provoking him. He drove what? our mom off a cliff. All, all we know for certain right now is that mom and Luke are missing, and we need to stay focused on finding them. Antagonizing him doesn't help anything. All right, can't we get helicopters and search dogs? The car was spotted in very rough terrain, and uh, we're short on manpower. Look, I'll, I'll pay for and organize a private search starting tomorrow morning. We'll find him, okay? Laura? Angel, you probably don't realize it since you were sleeping in there where it's warm and cozy, but it got pretty damn nippy out here last night. Laura, please. I knew that you were generous and kind and that you have a big heart. I, I don't want to press my luck, but is there any chance that I could get a cup of that fresh smelling coffee? But it's complicated. It's, it's just too hard to explain through this door. Is that coffee ready by any chance? Yes, it is. And it's delicious. Too bad you're missing it. Are you really going to make me do this? Oh, let's get clear about something. I'm not making you do anything, Luke, because I'm not your wife anymore. That dubious honor now belongs to Tracy Quartermain, of all people. So please, don't feel compelled to explain yourself to me. Look, it, 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 well, things got complicated. You see, it was a scam. I married Tracy for alimony. I, I was hoping to just pocket a couple of million and then walk away. Oh, and how did that go for you? Well, you know, unforeseen circumstances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, things just kept going one thing after another, and by the time you'd recovered, well, all right, I know I should have been more honest with you. More honest? How about honest at all? We didn't find any bodies or blood, but fingerprints in the DNA confirmed it was Luke and Laura Spencer in the car. 
it appears that they walked away from the scene uninjured. But you're not giving up the search. Well, working at a disadvantage, last night's rain washed away the footprints and made the site unusable for the canine unit. Ow! Oh, ow! Look out! Millions of miles of paved road, and my husband has to find a cliff in the woods to go over. Oh, my God, if Luke isn't dead, I'm going to kill him. I hate nature! We don't know anything yet. <gasps> has anybody looked at this scene? Have you all gone collectively blind? This is a setup. So for what? This is not an accident. This is vintage Luke and Laura. They have taken their romance on the road. <gasps> Are you all right? Uh, it's my heart. The old ticker ain't what it used to be. <clears throat> is there something wrong with your heart? It came out on me three times. Oh, no, Luke. You had three heart attacks? Yeah. Uh, it was like an elephant sitting on my chest. Oh. Okay, just tell me, what can I do now? Uh, uh, help me up, please. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, I need air. No, I think it's better to lie still. <coughs> Don't argue, just please help me. Oh, help me up. Six. All right, all right. Go slowly. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Oh. You're right. <coughs> oh, Come on. yeah, that's... That's much better. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you lied and you tricked me to get back inside the house. How do you feel about yourself? Uh, it, it wasn't a total lie. I mean, I really do have a bad heart. And that's your MO, isn't it? The perfect lie contains an element of truth. Look. I know I have a lot to answer for, but I'm not going to do it through a closed door. If you're going to hate me, you have to hate me to my face. Would it be all right if I had that coffee now? Okay, look, I want to go on record here. Because um, this story that you're about to spin for me, I don't want to hear it. I think I really pretty much understand the circumstances. We were divorced, and you didn't have any legal obligation to me, and then I got sick. And the doctors told you that I would never recover, right? So you moved on, and you married somebody else. that hurt? Yes, it does, but I do understand it. I guess it's just that, I don't know, I just, <laughs> some part of me wanted to believe that there would just never be anyone for you but me, and that's really foolish, and it's selfish. You moved on, and you needed to move on, and that's good. I'm happy for you, and I'll learn how to move on, too. So, I'm not mad about your marriage to Tracy Quartermain. Can we be clear on that? Yes. Good. I am mad that you didn't respect me enough to tell me about it. <laughs>